Hi, welcome back. I've seen a little bit of your journey to here from sitting in the stand watching pre-season to missing the multi trip to being in the gym on your own. How did it feel to finally walk back out there again tonight? Yeah, it was great, you know. A lot of hard work's been in the last five months really and it was it came at a hard time, you know, when obviously you work kinda of the whole of last season to try to get your chance in the team in the league and then a few injuries come here and there and then you make your way into the team and obviously you get injured in the last league game of the season which it was a hard one to take and then obviously it would have been my first experience in Europe and stuff like that which obviously I missed so yeah it was hard but a bit of relief to be honest mostly a relief because it, it can be lonely like but all all the boys here have helped me like so much I can't even tell you like it would be even times when you say I was in the gym by myself boys coming in checking how I am how's it going you know I've got a good car school they help me you know days sometimes you're down and you don't really want to come in and you know you're going to be on your own but then they kind of lift your spirits a wee bit so yeah it was just a bit of relief and a bit of excitement too a wee bit of nerves before the game if I'm being honest because it's been a while but yeah it went well because them games aren't easy you know no disrespect to Downingstown they're games that people look and you're supposed to win them really but that's why they call it the magic of the cup because anything can happen so I thought it was a professional job in the end first half we got to go and were a wee bit shaky maybe in periods, a wee bit sloppy, but we knew we could sharpen that up and then obviously this boy beside me got his first goal and put us 2-0 up to calm, calm the nerves a wee bit and I thought we'd seen it out very well. Yeah, George, congratulations on your first Glentorn start and first Glentorn goal tonight. As a striker, is that a moment that you've been looking forward to and what do you remember of it? been living in my head for years and years now. But I remember taking the touch wide and I thought it was going off play and then to be honest, I thought I was going to miss it because I could only see the side netting on the post. So, but I just took the nerves off me when I seen it hit the back of the net. And Harry, you both come from football families. I'm curious, do you sit down after a game with your dad? Does he coach you? And do you look at any of his achievements and think, you know, I'd like to take that one off? Uh, he reminds me of achievements enough when I get in the house, you know, after a game and stuff like that. But he's one who tries to stay out of it, to be fair to me. He'll come here and there and... But he tries to just kind of stay out of the road and let me be me. Obviously, he won most of his things on the other side of Belfast, and I'm trying to make my career on this side of Belfast. And he kind of just lets me lets me work away. Obviously, if there's wee things I need to ask him, I ask him, and he's always there for me. He always helps me. But at the same time, he's got his own stuff going on. Obviously, up at Fern Harps. So we talk we talk about games in general. But like, if there's any wee thing, I'll ask him. But he kind of just he wants me to be me, and you know, he doesn't want me to kind of live in his shadow type thing and be known as his son he kind of just wants me to make my own way in football and that's the way I want it to be you know we've got a, we've got a great relationship with dad he, um, he's my inspiration in football obviously everything he's won if I could win half of what he's won I'll, I'll be happy enough so yeah but in terms of asking him advice and things like that I would ask him if I needed something really but you know I try to be a bit mature in a way, you know, I feel like you have to be a wee bit mature at a club like this at my age, probably especially in a position like centre half, if you want to do well, you kind of need to be a, bit, be a wee bit wise beyond your years, so that's the way I try to be, but I've got a great relationship with him in football and he, he is my inspiration, obviously, as I said, in football, so if I can win half of what he's won, I'll be happy enough and he'll be buzzing to hear me say that. So. <laughs> and George, is it hard to block out some of the noise that goes on? Scoring goals for Northern Ireland under 16s, TikTok viral, being the manager's son, it's good work, and then actually just keeping your head down and working on training. Do you know what? I just ignore every single thing and just keep my head down, keep working, because if I let that get into my head, then possibly affect my game. I just want to enjoy football. That's all I want to do, just enjoy every minute.